Discovered, currently not indexed. In Google Search Console, page indexing report. I'm creating an updated video session for understanding how to troubleshoot this particular persistent problem. Discovered, currently not indexed, basically means this. Google search engine has seen URLs that it wants to crawl, but it has rescheduled the crawl process. That means it's discovered it, but not even crawled it. So therefore, when you look at some example URLs and inspect the URL, you'll see crawl stats, nothing here. It will be not applicable because Google did not even crawl the URL. If we then test the live URL, that could be confusing. So I won't even press that. So then let's go back and understand the fact that the example URLs are just that, example URLs. Discovered currently not indexed, you need to ask yourself, okay, does the web server respond according to the traffic? Because Google Systems is saying to you, hmm, let's imagine a large website with a lot of traffic on it, a lot of users interacting with the website, and if Google tries to crawl it at that moment, then it, it knows that it's going to burden the server. It may even crash the website. So therefore, it has only discovered it, but not indexed it as of yet. And this particular problem, when you're troubleshooting for your valued clients, then you should be also looking at crawled currently or indexed, issues because although the processes are different as in it's a completely separate process this particular issue in search console page indexing is one of the most important report that you can look at because this tells you much more than what it's showing us here okay that's why in the previous video session i've shown both problems and I relate the fact that they both work together to a degree for most ranker followers who actually manage their own website okay so you can basically for most websites there is not much to fix really for discovered currently not indexed issue because Google will later recrawl the discovered URLs anyway. But if you're managing your own clients' websites, then you can actually look at settings because you have more tools here. You can press on crawl stats and say to yourself, okay, you know what? Let me forget about discovery process. Let me look at the crawl process. Can Google crawl things properly? Does my web server respond correctly? Are there problems with server? internal errors server errors or other errors page timeout ask yourself okay why is that then you can look at host status and triple check the reports here let's press on host status there is dns resolution is that set up correctly server connectivity is it within acceptable file rate can Google fetch the URLs and so on, okay? So troubleshooting discovered currently not indexed. You want to just make sure the sitemap URLs in your sitemap do not contain, you, you know, paginated URLs, session IDs and so on. Robots.txt file is your friend regarding Google crawl process. You can use tools to triple check the URL patterns. You can also use Googlebot meta tag to say, Googlebot do not follow the links within this. What does that mean? That means Google do not place the links within this document 
in your URL request list, so to speak. Okay, so I know it can get confusing, but nonetheless, discovered currently in our index basically means Google systems are saying, you know what, we don't want to even crawl the URL because we believe it's going to somehow burden the server. That could be the reason or it could be the reason that certain URLs, Google thinks, you know what, we discovered it. But as far as we're concerned, we don't even want to place that URL in our crawled list. As in crawl the URL list. That's why under page indexing report, when we're talking about any issues coming from Google systems, that basically covers the entire Google guidelines. That includes technical guidelines too. Because if the server cannot respond, if the website is not set up correctly, if the content management system is not performing well, if the URLs are not even worth Google crawling, let alone indexing, then page indexing reports may show us issues related to Google systems. Google guidelines are complex to say the least, but developers can learn more about how to set up their website correctly. Okay, that includes technical guidelines too. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.